All right, today's talk is on a supplement called folic acid. So we talked about uh, being prescribed some daily uh, doses of penicillin. However, at the age of five, most hematologists prescribe something called folic acid. Now this is a vitamin that we naturally carry around in our bodies that uh, helps produce red blood cells. And if you remember, um, the people living with sickle cell disease go through much more blood cell, red blood cells because those cells that um, sickle die within 10 to 20 days instead of an average of 120 days. So the folic acid uh, requirements in your body if you're living with sickle cell are much higher because you need to produce that much more red blood cells because your other red blood cells are sickling and dying faster. So your doctor um, will most likely prescribe folic acid to be taken uh, daily for the rest of your life and um, increase it during time of pregnancy. Every pregnant woman is recommended to take folic acid to um, limit the likelihood of birth defects. And however, with a woman living with sickle cell becoming pregnant, her dose of folic acid would, would be um, that much more higher because uh, she's pregnant and she's producing all those extra red blood cells just from having sickle cell disease. So today's topic is short and sweet folic acid. The reason behind it is because it helps produce red blood cells. Your bone marrow is working on overdrive, so it needs that extra addition of a supplement of folic acid to help the body uh, be able to produce as many red blood cells as needed. Folic acid is also found naturally in uh, many different foods, but primarily in green leafy vegetables. So increasing your diet in that area can also help increase the amount of folic acid your body is absorbing. Check us out on the web at hopeforscd.org. Post any comments or questions below. And tomorrow's talk will be hydroxyurea, which is the only FDA-approved drug specifically for sickle cell. Thanks.